my name is John De Niro. I teach both computer science and data science, depending on the semester. I helped create the Foundations of Data Science course, Data 8, and I helped build the current version of the first computer science course for majors, CS61A, and I've served on various administrative committees for both. So I've been part of a lot of conversations about what should go into the computer science major, or data science major, how much they should overlap, and that kind of thing. So I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about how they're different, how they're the same, and what you should think about as you're choosing your path through Berkeley. So hey, Berkeley data science uh, students and interested students, I wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you about uh, some of the options that you have in uh, data science to study computer science and maybe some of the differences uh, between the two majors. Uh, my name is Michael Ball. I'm currently one of the instructors for CS88, which is one of the connector courses for Data 8, focusing on computer science. It is a uh, alternative to CS61A, uh, though we cover nearly identical topics, um, but just at a little bit different depth. So the high level is that computing has changed the world a lot in two different ways. One is by creating applications. You know, there was a time when phones just made phone calls, but now they do all kinds of things. Take pictures and, you know, put cat ears on people's heads and stuff like that. And that development of software has been a big focus of undergraduate computer science programs at Berkeley and elsewhere. That's sort of the main event, is building things. But computing has changed the world in another very important way which is to provide a new fundamental tool for understanding the world itself. So there's a lot of computation involved in natural sciences, social sciences, business analysis, politics, you know, it's everywhere. Computing allows us to learn about the world in ways that just simply weren't possible before we had computers that were as fast and powerful as they are today. And we created a data science major that was distinct from the computer science major to make sure that we had an academic program that could allow students to really focus on this aspect of computing. So to make a difference in building software, you have to learn how to program. To make a difference in learning about the world through data science, you have to learn how to program. There are certainly some deep similarities between these two disciplines, but you know, the goals are different. And I think that reflects a difference in how people will apply the computing knowledge that they learn. And it turns out that the background that you need in order to really be effective is different in these two sides. So, you know, to build applications, you don't just have to know how to program. You have to ha know a lot about how computers work, and networks work, and the operating system on which your applications will run and work. You might want to use a database or you might want to build your own database. And in fact, as computers start to gain more and more sensors, you know, cameras and microphones, it becomes increasingly important that you understand how the devices themselves work. So Berkeley's view of computer science is that it also includes many topics within electrical engineering in order to get people ready to go do cool stuff. And data science is broad in a different way. You know, learn how to program, maybe learn less about how devices work, but more about how to model uncertainty in the world when you take measurements. And learn more about exactly what you're measuring. You know, it matters a lot what the numbers represent in any kind of data science problem not just how to manipulate those numbers using some mathematics. Uh, so with data science and computer science, you'll often find that in practice, there is a ton of overlap between the two subjects. So if the answer ends up being they're a lot more similar than they are different, um, then that, that, that's a totally valid interpretation. Um, where computer science tends to differ uh, from data science is that on average, I would say that there is uh, in your computer science courses, less of the uh, statistical, statistical methods of uh, solving problems. Certainly in uh, some of the machine learning uh, and artificial intelligence courses, you have even more overlap because those fields are clearly applicable to data science. Uh, but overall, computer science, you're building tools uh, that are um, not just specific to data science, but could be specific to uh, a particular subfield, like building the operating system that powers uh, your computer. Or in the case of CS162, what you're building is uh, an educationally focused version of an operating system. Uh, so uh, complex has all the same pieces um, that, that would be 
uh, an operating system powering a computer or phone. Or in CS161, uh, you're learning all the components of computer security, uh, which could be things like talking about how to uh, manage memory in your computer from how we think about vulnerabilities uh, on websites that you use every day. So for that reason, data science students take courses in a lot more than just data science and computer science. Every data science major, you know, will take some statistics courses, some math courses, but also have a designated emphasis that's about how to actually take data from a particular field or domain and, you know, analyze it properly so that you make robust, real conclusions about the world. Now, the fact that these disciplines are a little bit different, but share computing as one of their fundamental components, was a good reason to create, you know, two different majors for you to choose from. But actually what matters in college is what you learn, not what is written on your diploma. So it doesn't matter so much what you major in as it does, you know, what courses you decide to take, where you put your energy in those courses, what extracurriculars you pursue. And the good news is that Berkeley has a vibrant community around computer science and data science, and there's a lot of overlap. You know, people get involved in both, and it's not like you really have to pick. And a lot of the courses overlap. So the first two programming courses in computer science are CS61A and 61B, and those courses are also requirements for the data science major. So with computer science, uh, as you go through the sequence, you might start off with CS88 or CS61A. Uh, in those courses, you're going to build uh, projects that everyone in the course works on together. Uh, these are going to be small to medium-sized projects where uh, we're really trying to teach you a particular fundamental skill of computer science, how to think about functions, how to think about building and using programs in a certain style. And in CS61B, the following course, uh, which is a core component of the data science major, you're going to learn how to build larger programs, use data structures that help you as a programmer manage uh, large amounts of data. And again, in cs 6 one b you will be doing the same projects with all of your peers. As you move into the upper division courses in computer science, if you would like to take them, you're going to take on more unique projects. Uh, you're going to be doing things uh, like investigating the security of a website in CS161, or in CS169, you might be building web applications uh, of the likes that you would use, uh, such as you could think of mini versions of uh, sites like Facebook or Twitter, sites that have user accounts, managed data, and so on. Uh, and in these projects, uh, instead of focusing on statistics, you're focused on the programs that you write, the methodologies that you're learning to write those programs, and so on. Um, but also in computer science, there are a lot of opportunities uh, to delve into uh, specific applications of tools that power uh, computers. So there's courses on networking where you get to learn about uh, both the protocols uh, that computers use uh, to talk to each other, as well as how a, a structure like the internet works at a really large level. Uh, there's courses on databases, which may be of particular interest to you uh, that help you uh, learn how you could build structures that manage massive amounts of data that you might later want to do processing on. Um, so in all these cases, uh, you're really building tools that are useful in uh, many possible domains. And so uh, whether it's data science or computer science, both of them have a lot of programming. Both of them have a ton of interesting projects that you get to work on over your career. Uh, and it's really just about finding which path you might be more interested in as a student. So I think I'll leave it at that. You know, I think about what was a really big project you might want to do one day. Is it building an application, you know, building a new game or a new social network or something like that? Or is it about analysis, like being able to predict the outcome of how people are going to vote on a proposition in some election or something like that? And that might be the beginning guide to decide, you know, which of these is more appealing to you. But the fact that they overlap in courses means that you don't have to decide right away. You definitely don't need to know exactly what you're going to major in the moment you set foot on campus. But it's good to start understanding the options, because that might inform which courses to take earlier or later, which student groups to try to get involved in, 
which professors to talk to, and what to start reading about so that you can figure out what your kind of big projects and big contributions to the world might be one day. Either way, uh, I hope you find the courses interesting, and uh, we're here to help you learn something new and exciting. Thanks. My name is Jenny, and I'm a recent Cal Data Science alum. Um, I actually just graduated this past May with a major in Data Science and Computer Science. My name is Alex Nakagawa. I am a recent graduate from UC Berkeley back in May 2020, uh, where I studied Data Science as my major with a Cognition emphasis, as well as an Industrial Engineering and Operations Research minor. Currently, I'm a full-time employee of the Los Angeles Clippers front office staff, where I work under the Basketball Strategy and Analytics Division as a full-stack software engineer. Hi, my name is Rebecca Wolf. I graduated UC Berkeley class of 2020 as a data science major, and I'm now working as a data scientist at Warner Bros. When I came to Berkeley, data science actually wasn't even a major that was announced. So I actually came to Berkeley hoping to pursue a major in just computer science. But after taking data eight, I found data science to be so fascinating and unique and actually quite different from CS because originally I thought they were pretty similar. And I decided to pursue a major in data science once it was announced. Um, what I love about data science is the real world application of the subject. The work that you do in the data science courses at Berkeley is usually connected to some problem in the real world that we are trying to solve. And I found this to be so interesting and meaningful because I never had to question why I was learning something in my courses or what practical usage it would have in a full-time job because that's exactly the kind of work we were actually doing in the coursework itself which was so cool and such a unique opportunity to undergraduate courses at Berkeley. I also love the interdisciplinary nature of the subject. In computer science you usually are just coding a lot um, which I definitely enjoyed but with data science there is a coding side a statistical side and a specific focus or expertise aspect, since data science can actually be applied to a variety of fields. Berkeley's data science program does such a great job of highlighting the importance of all three of these aspects with the variety of course requirements that you take and the domain emphasis aspect. One piece of advice that I have to any student pursuing a major in data science is to really choose a domain emphasis that they find interesting and not necessarily just choosing the really popular ones. I actually choose um, inequalities in society to be my domain emphasis because I believe that before you can use any of the technical knowledge that you gain from the rest of the coursework to solve the problems in the world, you actually need to open your eyes and look at the world through a different lens, like sociology, in order to truly identify what problems people are facing and what problems there are even out there for you to solve. So to give a little bit of context into the decision making that ended up uh, with me choosing the data science path, data science as a major actually wasn't even offered back when I was a freshman. But they, the first year that they started doing it was in the fall of 2018, where they started to offer uh, the official major to under all undergraduates in the College of Letters and Sciences. Um, the year before that, back in the fall of 2017, I had the chance to take Data 8. And out of all the technical classes I had taken before then, that class in particular did a really amazing job of giving meaning to a lot of the technical challenges that we were facing as students. I mean all the homework assignments, every single lesson was tailored specifically towards getting you getting to the point of how it's applied in different industries. And what's pretty amazing about the data science major is that it doesn't limit you to just one particular industry, I'd say. Of course, there are other uh, disciplines across the university that allow for this as well, but none, no others, I'd say, probably do a better job of it than data science uh, and the division of computing data science and society does and so ultimately the the major was created under the core values of the data science program being like making sure that all students from all walks of life no college level stem course required to enter into the data eight course 
you know, being ethical and re- and about your approach to research and the work that you do, making sure it's reproducible. I mean, all these all these factors, I think, ultimately lended itself into becoming like a really attractive option for a lot of people, uh, especially in my grade as well, since we were one of the first ones to become uh, official graduates of the data science major. The data science major and community at UC Berkeley are both remarkable. The major itself is flexible enough for you to really shape the experience that you want. Data science as a field lies at the intersection of computer science, statistics, and domain knowledge, and the major allows you to apply these really cool techniques to a field that you're interested in. As an example, I've always been interested in the entertainment industry, and the courses I took at Cal allowed me to take all of these cool and complicated concepts I learned and apply them to the work that I do now. I also want to highlight the professors and community. When I came into Berkeley as a freshman, I had no idea what I wanted to study, and by chance I happened to take Data 8, and it completely changed my entire world. The professors and core staff were so welcoming and excited, I truly got the sense that they loved the work they did and wanted you to be just as, as excited about it. The professors are the leading experts in the field and make sure that the students have every resource they need to succeed and find a part of the data science uh, field that makes them excited. And that's what I hope you can do. I hope that you can find in these courses and opportunities that really cool model or data set that makes you just want to jump in and use all the tools that you have available to you. My sociology courses also definitely help me when it comes to collaborating with others on the job. I now actually work at Pinterest, which was my dream job for the longest time as a software engineer slash data engineer on their business intelligence team. Another beautiful thing about studying data science is that it opens so many different doors when it comes to career choices post-graduation. I know so many friends, um, peers in data science who actually pursued very different things than I did when it came to post-grad life. Um, With a degree in data science, you can pursue positions as a data scientist, a data analyst, a data engineer, or even software engineer. And the possibilities are truly endless. When I think back at the tight-knit community of data science students on campus, I think there's just so many different facets that you'd have to talk about. And they're all just such great opportunities, I think, to be able to get to a point where you feel like you are ready to become a well-seasoned data scientist within the industries or research. I mean, then there's just so many ways to get involved. I mean, student organizations is one of the best resources, in my opinion, to uh, gain industry knowledge or gain industry skills. Um, Research groups, uh, getting involved in student opportunities under the Division of Computing, Data Science, and Society. I mean, that's probably one of my... (laughs) I'm probably being pretty biased, but one of my one of the best ways, I think, in my opinion, to give back to a community that gives so much opportunities to its students. 